What's up fellow engineers, Dr McKay here and welcome back to my channel. Today we are back with another rocket video on space engineers. Today, well, I have thought about which rockets to build. Alright, so to, to get this straight, I've built so far the Saturn V, the Space Shuttle and the Soyuz Russian rocket, all one to one scale. So I thought I'd go back in history a little bit to the first American manned rocket the Mercury Redstone, which is that that rocket behind me. This vehicle is approximately. Let me get the measurements up. This vehicle is approximately 25 meters tall with a diameter of about two meters. So trying to get that into uh, the small blocks was quite difficult. So I had to round up the diameter a little bit, but it's essentially the right scale. So with this rocket, it's basically unpressurized it's not gonna go into zero G it's gonna basically go up into gravity stay in gravity detach and fall back down now this is the first test launch of this vehicle before I uh, get ready for um, timer blocks and do an auto test flight so come with me on this uh, test flight and if you like this video and my content please hit that like button don't forget to comment and subscribe so with all that said Let's give you a quick tour of the rocket itself. So back in history in the late 1950s, the Americans were falling behind the Russians in launching a man into space. And this was the rocket they kind of used. It's called the Mercury Redstone. Now the Mercury refers to the capsule on top, which is the Mercury capsule. And the Mercury 7 and the, f and the first uh, Mercury astronaut, which was Alan Shepard, who went into space. This rocket is the first manned vehicle that basically took an astronaut into space. Now it didn't go into orbit, he just kind of went up and then come back down again. It was like 15 seconds or something, not 15 seconds, it was like 3 minutes. Something along those lines, I can't remember. Now a good show to watch if you're interested in early rocket rocketry and stuff is um, The Right Stuff is on Disney Plus, it's a really good series. And this is where I got the inspiration to build this rocket. So. As you can see, it's quite a thin rocket. It's um, the engine is only one single engine inside. It has these uh, rudiment like I gotta put it, these fins that don't really do much. The United States uh, decals, a few bit of paint job, and up top we have the capsule. Now this capsule only fits one astronaut in a very tight space. I'm pretty sure the capsule in real life was pressurized, but to basically get inside this, I needed to put a grill here, which makes it unpressurized, so make sure we have our visor down. And then we have our launch escape system and our parachutes. Now, the parachutes won't fit in properly, so they kind of stick out the side. So this is basically about it. Now, I haven't launched it yet, so we're going to test it and see what it is. It's a single stage rocket, so uh, from the red mark is the capsule upwards. So that little black, the black, the black capsule is what I'm going to be sitting in, and that's what's going to be coming back down. The capsule, the the tower is going to detach when we get up high enough, and the booster, which is from the black and white blocks down, is going to fall back down as well. So, and as you can see, it's quite tiny compared to the shuttle and the Soyuz over there, which is a lot, a lot taller and a lot thicker. And obviously you can crawl inside a Soyuz, whereas a Mercury capsule, you kind of sit there until you splash down. So, we're going to take this for a spin. Obviously you have to keybind some stuff, but there's not a lot to keybind. So we're inside the capsule. As you can see, we can climb through this grate, which came in Wastelanders DLC. Now, I'm not sure if it's paid on that one or came in with the free. So we just have to keep an eye out on that. So, this is the rocket. I have to keybind some stuff for a minute, so what I'm going to be keybinding is the RCS for the booster, I'm going to toggle them on, and then the rocket's main engine, which is, I believe, that one there. And it's, it's got thrust override on, so you basically press it and it just takes you up. Now I'm hoping the one engine will lift this off, if not we're going to have a problem here because trying to fit more engines in this small rocket is quite tough. So, I don't think there's anything else I have to worry about for a minute, apart from booster set, which I'll put here now. So we need our booster separation merge block. 
and our tower merge block which is up which is here as well which is that one and then on our second page I'll just stick the parachutes which I'm pretty sure I grouped together which I obviously didn't do that now let me just hide a few of these well I don't need to because this is going to be uh, done anyway. Let me just make sure that the uh, large hydrogen, yep, is thrust override. So we're all good, ready for launch. Now, before we launch, I just want to say that I have, I do thoroughly enjoy building these real life rockets to scale. Trying, uh, doing my research, getting the measurements, making sure it looks and performs like the real rockets. So if you do like real rockets and my stuff please smash that like button and if you haven't please subscribe it does really mean a lot to me and i i do really enjoy making these for everyone so with all that said we're gonna um just remember where my key binds are so up is the rcs right is the main engine and then left is booster set but like i said we're not going all the way into space so i reckon we'll go to about twenty thousand meters and then detach that for the test flight and then with the autopilot I'll probably do about the same so what we're going to do we're going to turn off the HUD so we get a nice cinematic view of, of our rocket and we're going to launch in 3, 2, 1, lift off and she's got power and she's going. There's the single engine underneath and it's got enough thrust to get us off the ground that is pretty awesome. It does have gyros for movement. Movement. Look at that go. That is the first man rocket America ever created. Kind of went backwards, didn't I? I went with Saturn V first, which was the last, in a sense, rocket or man vehicle, man rocket that uh, America built. Because technically, the shuttle is a kind of space plane esque. So, you know, rocket and space plane are pretty different. Uh, kind of takes off like a rocket, lands like a plane, so space plane. You know, SpaceX don't count because that's a private company. So, and obviously, uh, America has made other rockets, you know, and has other companies that build rockets for them. But the last manned rocket was essentially the Saturn V, I believe. I don't believe there's any, there's been any other manned. Uh, rockets that I'm aware of. Now, could be wrong. So if I am, please, uh, please hit me up. If I am wrong, uh, I prefer honesty and like truthfulness. So if I am given false information that I have researched correctly, then I like to be told. So we are still going up. This vehicle is performing quite well, and we are still going up. So I reckon what we could do in a second is detach that tower and get rid of it because we don't need it. It's not going to save us because it's got no fuel. So that was, I believe, the left. That's booster set. We don't want to do that in here. So it's down. Alright, so it is down. So get rid of the HUD and we're going to do the cinematic detach from the nose. Three, two, one. There goes the Escape tower, and we're in coming up. Let's get to about fifteen thousand because we don't we're not actually going into space, so let's just uh, sort this out a little bit. So what we want to do, I reckon, to safely get that that capsule sorted, we want to turn off our engines. Now this rocket doesn't actually get you into space, just to clarify that. It's literally doing what it's meant to be doing in real life. And this is why I like building these rockets, because it's to simulate the rockets that were built in real life. Yeah, just for for just just for fun, just for show, so you can play around with it. Now you could make it a missile, because it's technically what an ICBM used to be. Before they, they used the rocket for astronauts. So we're coming up now on 15,000 meters. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to shut off the main engine in a second. And then before I detach the capsule, I might thrust the booster away a little bit. So 
we can get some clearance, so main engine off. I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna detach in three, two, one, now. There we go. And now we're floating. We're in space. And my I do have gyros, that's cool. Got gyros. I still didn't keep on my shoots. There we go. And there we have it. Our first, well, I'd say America's first rocket with the Mercury capsule has gone into space. And Alan Shepard, which is the first American astronaut, is now taking in a lovely view from a little port window that he can't really see anything out of because this thing was so tiny there was no room for really any windows but there was like a periscope that you could look out of which I, th I don't know if this is f what happened in real life or just in the show the right stuff spoilers if you haven't seen it um, he gets his filter gets like a filter wrong on it and basically sees absolutely nothing so you know but if we look in if we go inside we can look out a window we have somewhere there is a window, just see we roll it. Can't tell if that's a planet. It's really hard to tell. Some stars. 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 There's the planet. Pretty cool. There's another window there. And obviously if we look there that is a put <laughs> the uh <coughs> The little grate that we got inside. Now we do have a gyro, a battery, and that just just so we got some stuff. Now we are coming back down, so we want to kind of go retrograde, which is ass end first. Because in reality, we'd, we'd be hitting the atmosphere and get become basically heating up with plasma, so we have to have a heat shield. And obviously, I'm not entirely sure what the America capsule's heat shield is compared to say the Apollo or the. Uh, Gemini capsule, but you know, there's no heat shielding really necessary in space engineers because you don't really go faster than 100 meters a second. But we are coming in now, and this is a perfect little launch of our rocket. It all worked out perfectly fine. So, I think what I'll do is uh, I'll set up time blocks and then I'll do another video later on this week regarding the auto launch sequence. And then once I've done that, it will go on mod.io for everyone to play around with. And I hope you do enjoy these videos and my rocket builds because I do love building these uh, realistic rockets I, to scale. It's one of my passions. And I think my next one will be the Mercury Atlas rocket, which is the basically they launched three Redstone rockets with Alan Shepard. Can't remember the second guy's name. Uh, or the third guy to be fair, right? But then John Glenn, which is uh, another astronaut of the Mercury 7, he went, he, I think he was the first one on the Mercury Atlas, and he went into orbit. He was like the first one to go into orbit. So we'll build one of them and we'll get, get that up in space. So we're coming down, deploying shoots in three, two, and one. Shoots deploy. I like to do it under a thousand meters because it takes forever to get to the ground. There's our chutes and our little capsule is, is safe and secure. We're going to land and that's a day. <laughs> and as uh, uh, Alan Shepard said, training for training to be an astronaut when he was doing it was very intense. A lot of action in the sense of the simulations. Apart from the actual rocket launch itself, he said it was rather boring. So... <laughs> Don't quote me on that. I'm just saying what the TV show I watched and a bit of wiki say said that he said it was it was um, not exactly that intense because he didn't really see much. But later on, astronauts and later like spacewalks and stuff really did get interesting. But for Alan Shepard's first experience, it wasn't in his in in the uh, program that great of a, that big of a deal. To be fair. Mind you, if it was me, I wouldn't stop talking about it. And I would love every minute. Are we even coming down? What's going on? Very slowly coming down. 
Well, what I'll do then, folks, because it's going to take a little while to get down. I think I'll end it there. So if you like my content, please hit that like button. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. This has been a Space Engineers rocket video with the Mercury Redstone 1 to 1 scale test video. Thank you for watching. I've been Dr. McKay, and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.